everyone and welcome to the next part of Star Ocean The Last Hope. In the last part we landed on Roke. In this part we're gonna explore. Actually Polly just said they're doing a lot of private action. First we're gonna explore. I'm pretty sure this chest down here is another... What was it? Oh my god I'm blind. I was behind a tree. Oh, who puts chest behind the tree? I'm pretty sure this is another PS3 exclusive. But the recipe memo 17. And it's moved, obviously, from somewhere else, because of course that recipe is somewhere elsewhere. And we've here got we go. uh, harvesting two harvesting spots out here. Which we haven't seen in a while because we've kind of been, you know, doing a bunch of stuff. Yeah, so much stuff. And story, and oh my god, that was a crazy recording session. Let's see, today is currently September 8th. This will be going up on the 13th. And I shouldn't even be recording this right now, but oh, I was dying to record again. Oh my gosh, I've missed you guys. I you know you haven't really seen the difference, but oh my gosh. Yeah. So, anyways, now that we're here, let's go take care of some private actions. Hi, Lim. Nice timing, Edgy. Come on. And play with me, Kay. Hmm. Edgy? Sorry, Limo. I don't feel like playing right now. So when will you? How am I supposed to know? <sighs> Edgy, you don't look very happy. You'll feel better if you play, Kay. I'm fine, alright. What do you want to play? Tag? Hide and seek? You just need to get up and move around, okay? Come on, Edgy, let's run around. I told you already, I don't want to. Hmm. Uh, I, I'm sorry, Limel. I didn't mean to. That's better. What? When I don't feel so good, sometimes I just shout really loud. That always clears my head up. Go on, Edgy, shout all you want. I know it'll help you feel better, okay? Little. You can come get me whenever you want, Kay. I'll always be ready to play with you. Not just me. Ray Ray and Faze and Baki and Mary. We're all here for you, Kay. Bye for now, Edgy. Aww. Thank you, Limel. Aww. She cares. She said that Ed is being all emo. Uh, everyone's least favorite part of the game is awesome. Trust in you, Edge. Remember that. Aw, oh, he doesn't PA. Well then, be that way. We will just do this. And go in here. Because you know who's in here. Yup. You know who's always in here. <sighs> yay, yay, yay. Hey, Adrino! Why are you so down in the dumps anyway? Huh? Oh, sorry. <sighs> hey, what kind of an attitude is that? You're the one who called me. Come on, man, you've got to loosen up. Forget about everything and just go with the flow like this. Go! Go, go! Yeah. Yay! Yay, yay! You're right. It's like a cheerleader. Sorry. No! No, no, no! Wrong answer! Oh, she's looking. I'm the one who's going with the flow here. Me! Me! What the heck are you apologizing for? Oh. I guess so. Sorry. Look, I don't have any idea what happened to you, but you need to lighten up a bit, okay? Just a bit. Mm. <sighs> oh, I'm getting tired of this. You're not going to make anything nice with an attitude like that. <sighs> Sally forth, SRF, fight on, SRF. There you go, the cheerleading again. Look, eat a good meal, get 
some good sleep. And get back to being good old Edge, alright? Sorry, Welch. <sighs> I'm sitting here listening to my mom's TV, watching Curiosity about what sank Titanic. Well, an iceberg sank Titanic along with all the water. But anyways, that's beside the point. Just because that's my favorite movie. Anyways, yeah. Head upstairs. Because, of course, we got more PAs of age. Stop being so emo. <laughs> Professor, why? Miracle. Yeah, what? What? Oh, Edge, it's just you. Don't scare me like that. Were you crying? I, I'm not crying. Like, come on. I don't even have a reason to cry, right? <laughs> right? I mean, totally. I'm in space now. I might get back home and everything. I don't have any reason to cry. No. No reason at all. You know? Professor was such a good person. If I hadn't met him, I wouldn't even have. I wanted to. I wanted to thank him. I wanted to stay with him longer. I never even got to do anything for him. <laughs> Meow. I'm sorry, Miracle. I'm really sorry. Edge? It's my fault. Klaus. The planet. Everything. He, resist he risked his life for to save us, but I. I repaid that debt by getting him killed. No, no, Edge, it's not your fault. You saved me, didn't you? You're the only one. The only one that was able to save. But what about Klaus? What about every single person on that planet? I was so damn arrogant. I'm sorry. I can never truly apologize, but I'm sorry. Really, Miracle. S stop it, Edge. Don't you understand? You saved me, Edge. I'm sorry. Edge? I'm so sorry. Hmm. It's like he doesn't listen! <sighs> so, yet again. Guess what? Another one. Mr. Edge, does this room feel slightly cold to you? What? No, it doesn't. I'm sure of it. The room's definitely cooler. My sensors are faultless. Pretty sure there's nothing wrong with the Calumnus' air conditioning, but I guess you would know. Anyway, sorry, I'll check the systems later. I believe there's something else that needs rectification, Mr. Edge, not the systems of the Calumnus. It's not a problem with the systems? I don't know, I'd have to ask Raimi. There's no need for that, Mr. Edge. I'm sure Miss Raimi would tell you the same thing. Sorry, Bacchus, but you've lost me. I have no idea what you're talking about. That is quite possible. Surprisingly, one is not often aware of their own heat. What? I have only one wish. A desire to once again feel that heat I found so pleasant. Bacchus? I believe in you, Mr. Edge. I believe I'll feel that heat again. I believe you are capable of that. If not, I'm afraid I will lose sight of the very reason I am here. <sighs> So yeah, there's a lot of private actions, but don't worry, there's only one more needs to take out the entire video. Ah. Edge. Mm. I know how you feel, but just let me say something. Mm. Our plan is deteriorating even as we speak. The entire human race is going to be wiped out if we don't do something. We went out into space as SRF members to prevent that from happening, didn't we? Once we step up moving forward, that's where it ends. Don't you care if our people go ex extinct? There's nobody else. We have to do this. If we don't, all the hurdles we've crossed to get here will, be, will have been for nothing. Being chosen by the SRF, leaving Earth, all the things we've done on our way here, basically everything. Mm. This might sound cruel, but even the destruction of the other Earth would be... You're right. It was for nothing. It was destroyed for absolutely nothing. If I had been so stupid, it would still be there. <sighs> Sorry, Remy. I... I'm not ready to move forward yet. Edge. Wanting to stab him. Like, seriously. 
snap the hell out of it, dude. And again, this does kind of lead to future events and what happened in previous games. Uh, yeah, so that's besides the point. So yeah, now we've taken up most of the video with those private actions. Let's go explore this place. And yeah, let's see. So yeah, today's the 8th and it's been like... Oh, yeah, 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 I want to stab a certain company that makes Lord of the Rings online because apparently... So their new expansion, Rise of Isengard, go. is going is thirty dollars pre-order, right? But if you want to get off their turbine store, it's roughly the equivalent of about sixty dollars if you want the raid, or fifty dollars if you don't want the raid. Yeah, way to rip us off. It that is not a oh, it's brand new, so of course it's going to cost more. Yeah, your pre-order costs less, and you get more in the flipping pre-order. I'm sorry, but I do not have you know this some. It, Ready just amount of money sitting in my pocket. Ready to go do this. I'm, I can't even get one of the games I want that's recently out. White Knight Chronicles 2. Because we have no freaking money and we have new enemies here and I should fight them, but I'm not. Because I'm ranting. Arf. Arf, arf, arf. But yeah, uh, mining spot back here. And this is this world. Well, I have a chance to explain it. This is basically like our big, big hub of the game. This, the first part of this world is pretty much the end of the first disc on the Xbox version. Then again, the second, third disc aren't really that long. So I'd say this is probably about halfway through the game right now. And yeah, so you can get a kind of idea. But I mean. There's still so much left to do. I mean, we have, like, bonus dungeons we have, bonus dungeons we have, bonus dungeons we have, ugh, we have all this stuff to do. Whoa, whoa, a tail! A tail! He's got ears and tails just like yours, Mary! That was totally the wrong voice. That was not Limbo's voice. Morphous data does indeed indicate that most of the inhabitants of Rogue are tailed. Now you mentioned that the other person has a tail as well. So... Do you think this is Mary's home planet? The probability would seem high. Isn't that great, Mary? Mary? Hmm, I don't know. Huh? Well, it does smell kind of like where I was born, but there's also something different about it. Could be an issue with the composition of the atmosphere? Such a small difference. I don't know. Anyway, let's keep looking around for a while. Is it okay if I stay with you guys? Yes, of course it is. We'll go together, okay? <laughs> Thanks, that makes me happy. So, what shall we do now? Well, why don't we see if we can find some sort of settlement? I'd like to see what, what the level of civilization is, is here. Is that equivalent to the Middle Ages, as Baka said? Of course, un undue contact and interference is not permitted under any circumstances. Nor would we... Nor may we reveal our origins. I'm asking you all to operate within the bounds of common sense. Common sense? A video game? What? What? No, that doesn't exist. Blueberries, yay! Blueberries, woo! Oh, where is she? I'm going to go take a ship to the land across the sea, but I'm waiting for my friend to arrive first. Where is she? I hope she comes back soon. So, with the question of. Common sense in the video game! What is that? We'll go talk to this person before. Oh my god. Uh, how about becoming a famous painter, but well, I want to do more than that, you know? I want to be dream big, you know how it is, right? Now, what kind of dream should I go for? Yeah, I will leave you with that question. In the next part, we will continue exploring this big map, and you can see treasure chests, and maybe in the next part, we'll actually fight something. So I love you all, thank you all for watching, and see you all in the next part of Star Ocean for The Last Hope International. I love you all, see you all in the next part.